Welcome back. Well, how about this? Artificial intelligence breaking new ground in medicine. Right now, the cost of developing a single pharmaceutical drug exceeds $2.6 billion. But biopharma companies, including Berg, are using AI to cut both the expense, the cost, and it, the time that it takes to create new drugs. Joining us right now to tell us more about it is the CEO of Berg, Niven Narain. Niven, good to see you. Thanks so much for being here. Uh, uh, good morning, Maria. Tell us about the company and this inter uh, interactive uh, biology platform. In target to yes. Yeah, so Berg is a, is a biopharma company that is based in Boston. We, you know, we're the first company and a pioneer to use AI in in medicine. We, you know, artificial intelligence uh, used in in biology is really um, is bringing together all all the patient data and and the analytics uh, um, that are that's helping us uh, drive more of, a, of an understanding in, in patients, and then and based on that understanding, we're able to develop drugs and diagnostics. And this week, we announced uh, um, uh, through a partnership with the Department of Defense, the first ever AI. Uh, driven product in, in diagnostics, which is, is able to help uh, a doctor and a patient uh, understand the, the difference between an enlarged prostate or, or benign prostate hypertrophy and prostate cancer. And why that's so important is that right now the only way to determine if, uh, if a person has a prostate cancer or a BPH is to do a biopsy. Mm -hmm. And biopsies, is, 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 as you all know, are very expensive. But importantly, the side effects of those biopsies can be impotence or infections. So the 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 cost of uh, of determining if if uh, if an individual has BPH or prostate cancer essentially uh, um, uh, is very high. So what this test is able to do through a, a simple blood test is to allow that physician and that patient in in a, in a much less invasive manner, in a much more specific manner, to determine. Uh, if if he has a, um, a, a higher chance of prostate cancer, why is this uh, much more? Why was this easier for a computer to do than a human? Why is it more difficult for you? It's the the uh, faster, right? Exactly. So human biology, uh, in and of itself, is extremely complex. So for us to process that uh, the amount of data in the in the time that it needs to be processed is 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 not possible by the brain, and uh, and secondly. Um, you know, by using AI, it, it, it helps us to develop hypotheses ahead of the process. So it helps us to be more precise. It helps us to uh, um, uh, understand the areas in the biology where things have gone wrong and help us to, to, uh, to deliver the drugs and diagnostics to patients in a, in a much more effective way. This test for prostate cancer, how widely um, used will it be and how, like, will it be available to most men who need to get tested for prostate cancer. Yeah, so it's it's astounding that that one in eight, in every seven American men will be diagnosed in in, in their lifetime with prostate My cancer. My father had it. Really? Yes, one in no, seven. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And, but, and and your father. Um, I mean, he had he's still still alive, but uh, again, it's the, the biopsy, as yeah. you pointed out, can be incre it's incredibly yes. invasive. Absolutely. So, how yeah. widely used will this test be? So this by test doctors? Can, uh, so this test can be used on uh, on any individual who has a, an enlarged prostate. So, I mean, it's basically to it's to every man uh, um, in, in in the United States and, and around the world who has an enlarged prostate to help understand if you know is it just a BPH where that's no, it's a, that's a non-cancerous uh, uh, issue, or is it is it prostate cancer? So it really is going to be available to every single individual. And, and you think it'll help with the fact that so many people, like every, if a man lives long enough, you know, he tends to get prostate cancer. Yeah. So will it help identify the cases where you can just let it rest? That's exactly right. Because what the um, there's two areas in prostate cancer that, that really drive cost. One is, is the wait and watch uh, a population. So in, in in individuals over 70, in some cases. Um, the, the doctor, uh, you know, chooses not to give any therapy. Just uh, it, 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 it's called active surveillance. But in those cases, the only way to truly know if that if that individual has prostate cancer is to do uh, serial biopsies. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine over time the stress and the tension that, that's put on that individual. So. In uh, you know, by, with the availability of the of this test, an individual could uh, conceivably use this test every three months, every six months. So it, instead of having to be a subject 
to the side effects or uh, and the cost, of course, of a, 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 a biopsy is, right. you know, one can just take a simple blood test. Yeah, that's amazing. And we should point out that you're also using AI toward Parkinson's disease as well. Yes. This is really an exciting moment in time. Nivin, it's good to see you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much for joining Thank us you. this morning. We'll keep watching that, Berg.